Well, we want to welcome you to the broadcast today. It is uh, Friday, November the 5th, 2021, and we're glad to have you aboard today. I apologize for the last uh, couple days. We had uh, funerals back-to-back both days, and those funerals took place right about the exact same time that uh, the broadcast would air. And so we did our best to try to upload a previous broadcast yesterday and uh, got it all scheduled out. And and then I have no idea what happened. It got canceled, uh, sort of out of, out of our control. And so anyway, uh, I apologize. But it's great to see you back today. And I thank you for praying for us. God blessed. Uh, even with funerals, God blessed. We had a dear lady saved on Wednesday uh, in the funeral service. And we thank the Lord and praise the Lord for that. And so, again, thanks for just bearing with us and being patient. And uh, we, we, we love this ministry. We love this outreach. And we're going to do it as much as we can uh, and still try to balance all of our other pastoral ministry at the church. And so sometimes it's a little bit of a juggling act. And, and uh, so, anyway, I do appreciate you being understanding today. Listen, we're going to keep it very brief today. I'm going to make uh, a few announcements in just a moment. We'll do some shout outs. And so go ahead and, and uh, we'd love to recognize you on there. Be sure you comment. And then also, if you would, be sure you like and share. And we'll uh, do some shout outs, then write to an announcement or two, and then write into the uh, lesson today. If you want to go ahead and grab your Bibles, you can turn over to 2 Chronicles chapter number 9. That's where we're going to be. And then many other places. But I'll put I'll put some of those references on the screen today. And so let's find out who's aboard, and then we'll go just a little further. All right, we're glad to have you on here with us today. Let's see, Atlee Brown is on here. Atlee, good to see you. Hope you're enjoying that brand new Bible. Good to see you, my friend. Thanks for tuning in today. Amita Campbell is with us. Uh, Miss Almeida, so glad to have you on here. I saw your post a little earlier where you said, I think the enemy's just really fighting. And and so we hope today will be an encouragement to you. We're praying for you and Charles. Good to see you today. Um, <clears throat> Debbie Turner's watching today. Miss Debbie, good to see you. Hope you and Lyndon uh, and Lena are doing well today. Great to see you. Uh, Rod, Rodney Tomlin, hello, Brother Rodney. Good to see you. And, and Miss Allison, appreciate your hospitality last night, and I'm sure you're probably on the ambulance today, probably working today. And so, Rodney, good to see you, buddy. Sure love you, man. Let me see here. Michelle Hoots is watching. Michelle says, watching in the school pickup line with Lee. All right, so Lee's with you today. And so, Michelle and Lee, God bless y'all. Was praying for your family earlier this morning. Hey, it's great to see you today. God bless you. Let me see. Um, Tammy Sharp's watching today. Miss Tammy, great to have you on here. And I hope you and Brad are blessed and doing wonderful. So good to see you on the broadcast today, Tammy. God bless you. Nina Hill is aboard. Nina, I hope you're having a wonderful day there in Union Grove. Good to see you aboard today. Thanks for tuning in. Brother Mike, there's Brother Mike. Brother Mike Hill, love you, my friend. Good to see you today, Brother Mike. Thanks for tuning in, Karen Hoffman. Hello, Miss Karen. I hope you're having a humdinger of a day today. It's good to see you, Miss Karen. God bless you. Drusilla Mendoza. Hello, Miss Drusilla. Praying for you and Martin and the, and the kids earlier today. It's good to see you today. God bless you, Drusilla. Phyllis Hudson's watching. Hello, Phyllis. And I hope you and Jack are having a wonderful Friday. Great to see you on the broadcast. Thanks for tuning in. Let me see. Uh, Alice Hayes is watching. Uh, Miss Alice, good to see you today. Thanks for being on here with us. We're honored to have you watching today. God bless you. Patsy Bird is watching today. Hello, Miss Patsy. And I hope you and Ronnie are having a wonderful day today. Great to see you on the broadcast. Chuck Campbell is watching today. Hey, Brother Chuck, good to see you. And I was praying for you uh, earlier today, praying for the family. And Chuck, it's good to see you today. God bless you, buddy. Uh, the Gillies are on here with us today. I just saw them come aboard, and so we welcome Donnie and Tamara, and good to see the Gillies on here. Listen, that's a few, and so uh, anyway, I'm just scrolling back through to make sure I didn't I didn't miss anybody, and so listen, if I missed you, I didn't mean to. If you see some folks tune in, my beautiful little redhead just came aboard, and so I welcome Miss Tammy. She's feeling a little better today, by the way. Now, she's still coughing and uh, but she's doing some better. And so re- continue to remember Miss Tammy in your prayers today, if you would. But I'm glad to have her watching today. 
And listen, we're glad to have all of you on here. Thanks for tuning in. Listen, let me do this. Let me see if I can take us to the split screens today. And uh, just a, an announcement or two. I'm excited. I'm excited about this coming Lord's Day. I hope that you're planning, making plans to be at Calvary Baptist Church. And uh, God's going to do great, great things. By the way, I just sent out a uh, notification on our church app. I'm going to try to... Uh, install a new church sign in the morning. Any uh, one or two, I just need I just need two or three of our guys who could uh, possibly help out a little bit in the morning. And so, if you're one of those uh, able-bodied men, that's what I need is some able-bodied men. This sign is very heavy, and so if you could help out uh, in the morning, just for about an hour or so, that'd be a blessing. Just call me or text me here in a little bit. And uh, we'll we'll get it all coordinated. Well, listen, looking forward to a great day. And uh, listen, this coming Sunday night, Lord willing, we'll be back in our brand new sermon series entitled Heaven, Fact, Fiction, and False Doctrine. And man, super excited about this. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I believe that before this is done, it's going to be probably one of the better series that we've ever done at Calvary. And uh, what a blessing that first one was. We talked about the place. We talked about the place of heaven. Where is heaven? The Bible talks about three. And uh, so that, it, was, it was enlightening. It was encouraging. And so, Lord willing, this coming Sunday night, we're going to be talking about the population of heaven. Uh, who is, is going to be in heaven? Uh, <clears throat> some people believe this. Some people believe that only Baptists <laughs> are going to be in heaven. You say, Brother Pope, you don't believe that? I do. I don't believe that. I really don't. And uh, some people believe that only Christians are going to be in heaven. Now, saved people are going to be in heaven. Don't get me wrong. But there's going to be a lot of other beings in heaven other than just Christians. And so, uh, anyway, you say, what in the world does that mean? You have to be there to find out. And so, Sunday night, Lord willing, at 6 p.m., We'll be right back in our sermon series on heaven. I hope to uh, hope to see you there. And then I wanted to make mention of this. We mentioned the book giveaway, and then we had some funerals that uh, we had to help in this week. And and so here's what we'll do. Lord willing, we will just push that forward just a little bit. We'll try to promote the book giveaway next week. And so hang in there with us. Hang in there with us. I apologize for the inconvenience, but we will go forward with the book giveaway. So just give us a little grace uh, there, if you will. I apologize for that, but we'll be back into that very, very soon. Well, listen, we're talking about this. We're talking about visible wisdom. Uh, as we started this uh, series, we're talking ab about Solomon, of course, King Solomon. And Solomon had not just wisdom, but Solomon had visible wisdom. Now, we took a little time to, to sort of lay the foundation. So you'll have to go back and watch that broadcast I'm not going to take any time to go back and really review that today, but Solomon's wisdom was not just incredible, but Solomon's wisdom was visible. It was visible. The Bible talks about the Queen of Sheba. Uh, she had saw the wisdom of Solomon, and we want to talk about that a little bit. How was Solomon's wisdom visible? And uh, so, uh, anyway, let me just jump right into it today. Number one, we notice that Solomon's, Solomon's wisdom was visible by his words. It was visible by his words. Now, I've got this on your screen. I've got this reference on your screen today. Second Chronicles chapter 9 and verse number 22 says, And Solomon told, talking about the queen of Sheba, told her all her questions, and there was nothing hid from Solomon which he told her not. And so as the queen of Sheba listened to Solomon speak, as she listened to the words of Solomon, it was very evident that this man was endowed with incredible wisdom from above. Now, whether we like it or not, did you know that you and I are judged by the words that we use? And I would just ask, ask us this today, how visible is your wisdom by the words that you use on a daily basis. Uh, we're judged by our words. Let me give you a few references today if I could. How about Matthew chapter number 12, verses 36 and 37? The Bible says, But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, 
They shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Now, I think that's that's pretty self-explanatory there. We're going to be judged by our words. People are going to be able to read our wisdom or our lack of by the words that we use. And so as Solomon was speaking to the queen of Sheba, it was very, very evident that God had gifted him uh, this thing of wisdom. And so again, I just want to, you know, here again, I just want to ask us today, and this is so, so simple, but it's a, uh, but, but it's a, a good opportunity for us to sort of examine ourselves. How visible is your wisdom and your godliness uh, by the words that you use on a daily basis. Let me give you another reference here. How about Proverbs 17, verse number 28? The Bible says, even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, listen to this, is counted wise. Well, that's what we're talking about, isn't it? Isn't it amazing how the Bible just goes right together? Uh, Even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise, And he that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. In other words, the words we use or the words we don't use, our self-discipline by the words that we pick and choose or the words that we choose not to use, again, show how much understanding we have, how much wisdom that we have. Listen listen to this. I thought this was just interesting and maybe it will uh, help you today. Someone said the average person spends one-fifth of his or her life <clears throat> talking. Now, again, think about that. One-fifth of our life is spent talking. If all of our words were put into print, the result would be this. A single day's words would fill a 50-page book. But hang on to your hats here. While in a year's time, the average person's words would fill 132 books of 200 pages each, 132 books. What's that mean, Brother Steve? It means that by the end of the year, with all the words that we have used, we could have put out 132 different books. Now, uh, listen, no wonder and let's see, I've got this on your screen, Proverbs 18, 20, uh, 21. No wonder the Bible says death and life are in the power of the tongue, the Bible says, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. My soul, what a word, what an important word today. Uh, we will be judged by our words, and, and our words are used to bless and to help and to encourage and to edify, or they're used to curse and to tear down and to cause harm and to cause hindrances and hurt. And so, again, I want to ask this question. How visible is your wisdom by the words that you and I use? I found this. uh, Someone said it like this. A careless work uh, may kindle strife. A cruel word may wreck a life. A bitter word may hate and steal. A brutal word may smite and kill. A gracious word may smooth the way. A joyous word may light the way. A timely word may lessen stress. And a loving word may heal and bless. Wow. Now, I I know today, my dear friend, that was about as simple as simple could be. I don't know about y'all, but man, that that ministered to me today. I have to be so careful about the words that I use uh, because people are going to judge us according to our words. And someone says, well, you know, pastor, I'm just the kind of person. I just, you know, say the first thing that comes to my mind. I'm going to be honest with this. The spirit-filled child of God can't afford to do that. We don't have that convenience Because our words have power, death and life from the power of the tongue. And according to scripture, you and I are to be so careful about the words that we use. Well, what a simple word today. I hope it's been a blessing to you. And it's been such an incredible blessing to come to you today. Let me do this if I could. Let me put some uh, numbers on your screen today. It's our prayer helpline number, 704-327-5662. And if you're watching the broadcast today and you've got a need in your life, especially if you have a need of salvation, 
you don't know that you know that you're on your way to heaven. We want you to call. Listen, I promise you, you're not going to bother us, and I promise you something else. We're not going to ask you for a handout. We're not going to ask you for an offering. We would just love to take the Word of God and show you from the Word of God how you can know that you're going to heaven when you die. And so please call that number, 704-327-5662. If you're watching this broadcast today and you've got a heavy burden on your heart, and you say, Brother Pope, I, I need somebody to pray with me and help me. Why don't you call us? Be sure you leave a callback number. We want to call you, and we want to pray with you and believe God with you. And then all of our countdown family, don't forget, be kind to everyone because everyone's having a tough time. They really are, aren't they? By the way, that's why the house of God is so important. And we are praying and believing God for a phenomenal day this coming Sunday. And so I hope that you'll get ready. hope you'll be in prayer and and uh, listen, we look forward to seeing you in God's house this coming Sunday. All right. Hey, listen, have a great Friday and a great weekend. We love you. God bless and take care.